babies, it's the time, time for Caddy Bees. Hi everybody, we're the Caddy Bees and we're live on Twitch. My name is Angela. My name is Lucia. Lucia, your voice. What happened? When I got sick and tired of not being respected because of my high feminine voice, so I thought this is a much more respectful voice. Lucia, I have something to tell you. What? I've always respected you for who you really are. And isn't that all that matters? I guess, but are you saying you don't respect my voice now? I think any choice you make is is yours to make, but you don't have to change who you are as long as you know on the inside that you're worth it. Let me check the inside. I'm back! <gasps> Lucia! Oh, I didn't want to say anything, but I like this version of you a lot better. Thanks. I mean, I do have a pretty gorgeous voice. You sure do. And I love your voice, too, Angela. Thank you. It sounds like this. Oh, a little more, maybe the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C. Now I know my A, B, C. Angela, you don't. What? Angela, you don't know your A, B, C. Oh. I don't know my ABCs. Let's all have a couple of bees. And that's our new theme song, the Caddy Bees. For a very original theme. We're so happy you're here today joining us on Twitch. We think it's probably working. We think so. This is actually my first time on Twitch. How are you feeling? A little twitchy. Yeah. A little witchy <laughs> and a little bitchy. <laughs> well, two of those you're feeling most of the time. That's right, but I'm never pitchy <laughs> with good. my singing. That's yeah. good. I like that a lot. So, we're trying out a thing with the Caddy Bees Talk Show. We think the world needs a Caddy Bees Talk Show, and we think we're the people to provide it. Nobody else was doing it. Oh. What makes the Caddy Bees different, Lucia? Different from anything else? Well, we're not Spongebob's. We don't have square pants. We're not square pegs. We're not, um, you know, like, we're not the wire. We're not, per se, girls. Mm -mm. But, you know, we're also, we're not sex in the city. Mm -mm. So I feel like we, um, you know, like we're really just, we're going to give a really fresh, hot, um, you know, serving of, like, what it means to be a millennial, what it means to be, like, a woman in this society, you know, in this post-election world. You know, something you just said, Lucia, that really appealed to me was fresh hot serving because mm. I'm very hungry. Me too. I'm kind of like always hungry. It's kind of my little, like, my thing. That's, that's amazing. It's so Thank cool you. that you have a thing. Well, as we usually do on Patty Bees, our first segment is daily check-in. So I'm going to take off this jacket because it's warm as heck. And you tell me, what's your daily check-in today? <clears throat> well, you know, today I tried to eat a hard-boiled egg for breakfast. It turns right. out it's very complicated. I thought, this will be faster than any other way to prepare an egg. Yeah. It turned out like it wasn't. You know, you try to sort of crack it, roll it on the counter, and then you just get chips of the eggshell everywhere, and you try to eat around it, and then there is a ball of sort of like... You know, like, just like a dry, powdery ball. Um, sort of like the kind you would, like, if you broke open, a like, a baseball or a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. That's the yolk, is that weird powdery thing on the inside that you're not supposed to eat. So I basically didn't have breakfast today, so I'm still really hungry. Hey, you know what that reminds me of? A song. A song? Sometimes you think that life will be easy. Sometimes you think you've got a good idea. 
some things you think that an egg will be breezy and nothing can stop you from having a breakfast but hey that's confidence and hey that's misplaced because when there's eggs and you want to hard boil them you're gonna get chips all over the place hard boiled eggs everybody hard boiled eggs they're much harder than you think hard boiled eggs all right Lucia tell us I woke up this morning wanting an egg not just the eggs that are inside my body I thought if I go downstairs, things will be easier and no more tears. But instead, I went into the fridge. And now we're suddenly at the bridge. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled Oh, where are all my friends? I miss my friends. But instead, Now the lesson that we've all learned is surely clear to tell. Tell us, Lucia. Never tell your friends about when you ate eggs because then they will judge you and you will smell hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Where are my friends? Things are much harder than you think they are, and that's why nobody does them. Thanks, Angela. No problem, Lucia. How was your morning? <laughs> Thanks for asking. I'm sorry that I interrupted you by asking something really nice and thoughtful. You know what? I forgive you. And that kind of verbal affirmation is emotional labor that actually really helps. <laughs> I'll tell you about my morning. I moved around a lot of furniture in this apartment because I thought we'd find a better shot, but it turned out the shot we were looking for was here all along. Just like the shot I was looking for was at the bar, am I right? hey -o. Tequila. Water. Oh, water. Water is good. Now, that's all my check-in, and I think it's time that we check in with the people who are watching. Now, Lucia, I'll tell you what's going on, and you maintain eye contact with the camera so it doesn't feel like we've lost engagement. Alrighty. No. I think you did a good job moving everything around the apartment. Thank you. It's going to take me a while to put it back. Well, Lucia, could you say a special shout-out to I Raven Lil? Hi, I Raven Lil. Okay, a little slightly special uh, shout out to Mary Amber. Mary Amber, oh my god, hi. How about a special funny shout out to Gevmage? <laughs> oh, Gevmage, you fool. And how about Scott Max? Let's tell him a joke. Scott Max, what do you get when you put two dudes in a room and then make them talk? What? <gasps> Discomfort. And one more to our special friend, S, who S. says hooray for eye contact. <gasps> Hi, S. You know what you did. That's true. They do. Uh, uh, is there, oh, 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 You know what that means. It's time for a question. Now, Lucia, this special question comes from the Calpar. Dear Caddy Bees, I recently began creative writing again and was rudely reminded that writing is hard. Why is writing so hard? I don't know. I haven't written a damn thing in my life. Really? No. I just kind of refuse. You haven't written a damn thing, but have you written a good thing? <laughs> Let's sing a special song to the Calpar about how to get motivated to make writing less hard. I will try to, like, be in character as someone who has written things. Okay. And can relate to the question. Excellent. Here we go. So you want 
have to write something creative So you think that you are doing so good But you're really reminded that things are difficult And it puts you right where you live What do you do? You write your ass off Write your ass off Say screw you to the haters Just write your ass until it's off Write it all the way off Write it off and just keep writing Just keep writing Just keep writing So you're sitting at the laptop And there's nothing coming out right Or if it comes out it's really terrible And no one likes it Especially not you, you're your harshest critic. What do you do? We'll tell you, you write your ass off. Write your ass off. Keep on writing till your ass falls off. Yeah, you off. write your ass off. Write your ass off. Write your ass off. <gasps> Or maybe just write a haiku. Haikus, they're not that long. They're pretty easy, and then you'll feel like a really good writer after you write a haiku. It's like five, seven, five. That was a haiku. Do you want to maybe write your first thing right now? We could write a haiku together. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. try it. Let's try I think, Luchi, I think you're pretty creative and pretty brilliant. Okay. Let's get that ass off with your writing. I'll do the first line. All right. So it's five syllables, right? Yeah. Okay. Lucia. Hey, you. <clears throat> oh, me? You talking to me? Nobody else. Bro. Oh, my gosh. I feel like that was a breakthrough. Like, I feel like there's so many more longer things I can write. Mm -hmm. Speeches, mm -hmm. documents, mm -hmm. Magna Carta. I think your Magna Carta is happening right now here on Patty Bees. Now, we don't have a special guest because they canceled at the last minute. It happens every once in a while here on Caddy Bees. I think so, Obama. He was the guest. Yeah. We really thought we could get him, but he's busy. So I'm going to say, let's do another shout-out to the chat. Are you ready? Remember that eye contact. Hey, okay. look who's here. It's Snurkaturk. Snurkaturk? Oh, my God. That was my grandmother's name. That's such a weird coincidence. Was it also your grandmother's name? Yeah. Still okay. is. I mean, she's not around anymore, but she didn't change her name. I'm sorry that I brought that up. I'm a snark a turk. Wait, are we cousins? Wait, your grandma snark a turk is the same as my grandma snark a turk? Yeah, who's from, you know, not this planet, but, uh, you know what, maybe we should talk about this later. <laughs> Lucia, you uh, were going to tell me a story earlier, and I told you to save it for the air. Could you bring that up again? Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> you know... Things weren't always easy for me, as, as they look and, and seem to be. You know, it, it wasn't it wasn't all just easy street. You know, it wasn't mm. it wasn't like big city lights and little city taxis and benches and stuff. It was actually it was actually hard. I didn't know that. See, I look at you and think her life was probably pretty easy, and she was pretty much all big city lights and little city taxis. Exactly. Like I just sort of my finger guns were always loaded. You know, just like. Phew. You know, but that wasn't true. Like, when I first tried to do finger guns, it was like... And so basically, like, you know, I, I just, I, I had a lot of fear. I had a lot of imposter syndrome. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, felt like the things that I made weren't good. Um, you know, and then I really found the thing that I was really good at. And what's that? Free bass mouth solos. All right. Well, let's set it up. Need to wet the whistle. Absolutely. Free 
seis. When you look at the cheese, you think her life has always been easy and free. But free face. But it was a good case until only recently when she started playing free face. Which is when you make a face up with your mouth. It's a very special term from the South. Yes. I like when she sings her face songs like this. Her name is Lucia and she sings the bass. Her name is Lucia and she sings the bass. This is how low I can sing the bass. Her name is Lucia and she sings all over the place. Oh my god, Angela. I didn't know that there was someone else out there who sang the bass with their mouth so well. Hey! I always thought I was a loner. You were not alone. With one talent that made me own the place. When I sang the bass. Sang the bass. Now I'm not alone. I look at you and I feel at home because bass sounds so much better when there's a second bass happening at the very same time. I never knew that about you, Lucia. I'm really happy that I learned it today. Me too. I can't believe that we're related. <laughs> we have we play the same instruments. Yeah. <sighs> let's do one more check-in with the chat, and then let's break this facade and, and just get real for a second, okay? Yeah. I just want to get real with the world. I want to, like, break it down. Well, we have someone in the chat here named Biggest Caddy Bees Fan 1. Who could it be now? It's not me, because I'm here. So, somebody else, I guess. Somebody else. Crow Gould 98's in the chat. Hey, Crow Gould. We've also got Flail Squared, who is a mod. What? Do you know what a mod is, or do you want me to tell you? Please tell me. It's not when you have, like, the haircut, right? Or the beetles. When you were young, you thought that mod was a haircut that just the Beatles had. <sighs> and I'll tell you that that was true in the age of my great, great, great granddad. And yours too, because we're related. But that's not what a mod is today. A mod keeps us high, keeps us soaring. Because a mod's a great person who watches the chat. And her name is Lauren. Her name is Lauren. Her name is Lauren. She keeps us so red. Her name is Lauren. So if you're afraid of bad words or bullies, you don't have to be worried, my friend, because We've got a special trick up our sleeves. Someone who watches us, someone who believes that. Like God? Like God, but a little bit better. Cause she's not worried about controlling the weather. No, she's just worried here about our chat and also her life, which has a lot of cool stuff going on. She's Lauren. She's Lauren, and she keeps us soaring. Yeah, she's Lauren. Yeah, she's Lauren. And thank you, Lauren. Wow.
Wow. So okay. true. So true, Angela. You have so much to teach us about the world. I agree. And that's that's why I wanted to get real for a minute. Because, mm-hmm. hey, mm-hmm. we're not just Angela and Lucia, the catty bees. We're also Angela and, would you like to say your name? Lucia. That's right. And we're trying something out. We're, we, we got this idea that, like, we should keep making catty bees because we had a very successful web series. Tell us about the award we were nominated for, Lucia. We were nominated for third place as the third best web series in Portland, Oregon. It's true. By the Willamette Week, which is a real newspaper. Right now our refrigerator is making a noise like there's a little monster inside of it, and I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit terrified. I'm very terrified. What was I going to say? Oh, so yeah, that's why we're trying this out. We're having a good time, and uh, we've made a couple videos, and we're like, hey, what if we made Caddy Bees into a talk show? Maybe just for us, maybe for some of you, and maybe for some other people who would give us a lot of money to do it. Yeah. Hey, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Ooh, money. You know how I'm always hungry? Yeah. I could go for a steaming pile of some of that delicious green. Dollar bills it is. That is... That's right. I'm having the best time right now. I feel like when I'm in this persona of Angela, my lips hurt, and I don't know why. Do you feel that way? So like a tingling? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's from the smiling, or maybe it's a panic attack. I guess we'll never know. Well, I'll be here if you need it. I will put a big, heavy-weighted blanket over you until your lips feel better and the panic goes away. Thank you. Well, well, well Caddy Bees, I think we've come almost to the end of our show, haven't we? I think so. But there's just one more thing we've got to do. What is that, Lucia? We need to show you... How to get fly. And, and think about that for a second. What does fly mean to you? Sure, it's a movie with Jeff Goldblum that people talk about a lot that I've never seen. And it's something that the airplanes and Top Gun do. But fly is also a state of mind. It's a state of mind where you can look at yourself and you can say, Hey, you look great in that hat. And it's really working for you. And I believe I could do anything today. Right, Lucia? Hey, I think so. And I believe in you. And I think you could do anything today. I guess it's time for our goodbye song. Thanks for tuning in to Caddy Bee's Talk Show. Tell us how you feel. And please send in your questions to caddybeeshow at gmail.com. We'll answer them. We can keep you anonymous if you'd like. And we'd also love your, su- your suggestions of titles of songs that we would painstakingly spend hours and years writing and then sing live on air as if we'd never performed them before. Are you feeling fly today? I'm feeling very fly today. She asked why today and I said it was because of this hat. Because of the hat. Now it's an outward manifestation of a form of confidence you have. Is that right? I wear this hat to reflect that I feel pretty freaking fly on the inside. On the inside. On the inside. On the inside. Feeling fly, feeling fly, fly, feeling fly on the inside. Are you feeling hot today? Yeah. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like I'll take on the world and like I'm gonna go to Wall Street, gonna knock down buildings, gonna hit. Like Godzilla gonna strike the man Gonna also go home to my boyfriend who's a man But he's not that man Cause I can Cause you can feel and fly Feel and fly Feel and fly Feel and fly Ride and hide Inside Inside Sometimes
things you may not feel so fine that's okay that's normal yeah. sometimes you may not feel so hot and that's okay it's not not normal but remember that you're really great and both of us really love you and if you just have a little confidence you can pull off a hat that some people might think is silly in certain situations but if you've got the confidence to pull it off then if you do then you'll be feeling fly feeling fly on the inside feeling fly feeling fly And that's it for the Caddy Bees this week. Thanks for joining us.